Hey herpers, herpetologists, and everyone else. So, I have had my first request to do a care video for my snakes. And just, just to be clear, this is the way I care for these snakes. And I think I've had them, I don't know, maybe a month and a half now or so. Not very long, but I think they seem to be doing well enough. So I have these rough green snakes. Uh, that's the really pretty one. Well, they're both pretty. That one's just really big and just shed, so it looks pretty wonderful. This one's under the red light, so you can't really see much of it. But as far as care goes for these guys, I just have them in a, I think it's like a 30 tall, something like that, 30 gallon tall. So I have just like substrate on both sides well I guess you can't see that well but this side has mulch this side has substrate with some leaf litter and then in the middle I have a nice tall dirt mound where I have the live plants planted uh, I have a UVB light to help with the plant health um, an LED light would be best but I'm under the impression that rough greens uh, need UVB to digest their food because of their insect diet. Um, so basically you want a lot of climbing branches. You can see I got all kinds of different driftwood and climbing branches in here. A little water dish down there. You don't need anything too crazy. They're not super aquatic, but they can be found close to water. Um, so I have some isopods in there which are little tiny bugs that are basically the cleanup crew. They eat dead crickets and snake shed and um, snake poop, all of that. So I heard that these snakes are prone to respiratory infections but I kind of feel like all snakes are. So. Um, I just miss them once to twice a day depending on how dry their cage looks but um, as far as feeding these guys I basically I just have these crickets and you can see down there some greens they are turnip greens so what what I'm doing by putting turnip greens in with these crickets just hours before I feed them off it's called gut loading so all those nutrients that uh, that the insects eat and then your animal eats, they get it all too. So it's very beneficial to all of it. Sorry, I know you can't really see much, especially because my finger's in the way, but I'm just trying to get all these uh, crickets in there. So these are really shy snakes, very, very shy. And... I mean, obviously, they're somewhat used to me going in the cage from, you know, changing their water and all that, throwing food in there. Wish it would focus on this snake. Um, so, I've tried tong feeding them. Haven't had much luck. This one that I'm recording right now has actually eaten a small hornworm off tongs, but I'm just going to keep trying. But yeah, when I miss the cage, I just miss like all of the plants. I do leave one side fairly dry so they can choose to be wet or dry. But that's basically it. I mean, they kind of just move around all day and bask. These snakes are most active in the middle of the day, believe it or not. Or just throughout the day in general, I guess. But that's the care video for these guys. I'm just going to show you. I got a couple peekers. I guess starting down here, I have this blue garter snake. Let's see if I can get close enough. You can see some of the bluish coloration on this snake. Very beautiful. Just wanted to show you a couple of these animals uh, watching. And then of course my big tiger rat, who I love. But yeah, so that's it. Just so you know, I was keeping an eye 
keeping an eye on these guys while I just showed you those two snakes real quick. But I'm going to shut the lid after I end this video and call it good. But I hope you all enjoyed. Um, please remember to subscribe, like, share, comment. Hit that bell notification if you if you want updates when I do new videos. But I appreciate all of you and I'll see you all soon. I have a very special video coming up tomorrow. It'll be my 100th video. So y'all stay tuned. Signing out. Nate's Nature Notes.